Ahead of the trilateral summit between South Korea, the U.S. and Japan, America's top diplomat Antony Blinken says Friday's meetup will be a historic one that forges the three nations' security alliance. Our Kim jong sil leads us this morning. The U.S. has expressed high hopes for Friday's trilateral summit at Camp David. Uh, President Biden will host Japanese Prime Minister Kishida and South Korean President Yoon at Camp David to mark what we believe is a new era in trilateral cooperation among our countries. He added that he had spoken with his counterpart, South Korean Foreign Minister Park Jin and Japanese Foreign Minister Yoshimasa Hayashi to prepare for the summit. He added that the summit came at a critical moment when the world is being tested by geopolitical competition, the climate crisis, Russian aggression against Ukraine and the nuclear provocations. He added that the heightened engagement is part of a broader effort to strengthen alliances and partnerships between the three countries. Strengthening our trilateral cooperation is critical to delivering for our people, for the region and for the world. It helps us promote peace and stability and furthers our commitment to the complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Earlier, The Washington Post reported that the three leaders are expected to announce plans for expanded military cooperation on ballistic missile defense and technology development, quoting two senior Biden administration officials. There are also reports that the so-called Camp David principles will be announced strengthening the trilateral ties. Pundits say, though, the summit could anger North Korea and that Beijing is already expressing discomfort over the summit. China opposes relevant countries forming various cliques and their practices of exacerbating confrontation and jeopardizing other countries' strategic security. But experts said the U.S. has a strong motivation to use the momentum of improved South Korea-Japan relations to strengthen trilateral ties. Kim Jong-sil. Arirang News.